Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's take a look at the mean, the median, and the mode in terms of house prices. So let's say there's a small town, and 11 houses were sold that year, and here were the prices in thousands of dollars. Notice there's 11 data points, so there were 11 houses sold. And the least expensive was $120,000, and the most expensive was $600,000. So let's label these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Notice conveniently they're already in order from the least expensive to the most expensive. So finding the mode would be relatively easy. You're looking for the number that occurs the most, and notice there were three of them sold at 140,000, which is the most common, not the most common, yeah, in a way it's the most common, the one that occurs the most. And so you say the mode would be $140,000. We'll just leave it at $140,000. I'll just make it easy like that. Okay, median is the middle number. So the middle number would, in this case, be the sixth number. That's this one right there. So the median would be $150,000. So if someone says, what is the median price of houses in that town? You'd say $150,000. With the idea is that you move to that town and you want to buy a house, you expect to pay somewhere around the median price if you're looking for a typical average house in that town. But let's find out what the mean is. The mean would be adding all the house prices together and divided by the total number of data points. It would be 11. So in this case, the mean would be 120 plus 130 and take the whole thing and divide it by 11. All right, so what is that number equal to? So let's see, if I add up the hundreds of thousands first, that's 600, 800, that's a million, million one, million two, million three, million four, million five, million six, one million seven, million eight. So that would be one million eight, so that's one eight zero zero, divided by 11 plus, now we add all the uh, teens, so to speak. So 20 plus 30 is 50, 90, 130, 170, 220, 270, that would be 350, 400. So this is equal to 2200 divided by 11, which is equal to hmm, 210,000, or let's see, no, 200,000. 200,000, 200,000 times this gives you 2,200. So that's the average price of homes in that town. So what gives you the best picture? If someone were to move to that town, do they want to know the median price or do they want to know the average price? In this case, the average doesn't really tell you anything because there could be one really expensive house, which in this case there is, and everybody else, all the other houses are relatively a lot cheaper compared to that. And so the median price gives you a much better idea of what the situation is in that town. You can expect to pay something much closer to the median than to the average if you're looking for a typical house in the town. Because notice that out of the 11 houses sold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven houses were at the median price or cheaper, and only four were, at the, were higher than the median price. The mode also gives you kind of a feel that more often houses were selling at 140 compared to any other price. So the median and the mode give you a much better feel what prices are like for houses than if you're looking for the average. Unless, of course, you're looking for the bigger and more expensive homes. And that's what we mean by the mean, which is the average, the median, which is the middle price, and the mode, which is the most occurring price. And that's how we do that.